How's it going? We are in uh, Fort Lauderdale International Airport, probably because they fly to Cuba. And uh, I'm waiting to get picked up. And uh, I saw something that was really, really weird. So when you're walking, I decided to go to the vending machine, right? And I'm just walking by. And this is what you see. Do it as I, okay, so I'm walking by and this is what I see. Let's see if this works right. Okay, so it looks like a guy inside a cube with a bunch of stuff, right? Now, of course, something's up because there's a cube here. I thought it was a smoker's cube. I'm going to switch camera angles and see if this works. If it'll let me. Maybe not. Well, I thought it was a smoker's cube for a second, so I came over just to look inside. Not, you know, I didn't need a camel or anything, but... So... Here's the deal. It's not a smoker's cube, as you can see by panes in the glass. Also, it's not a real person. It's the Madame Tussauds type thing, right? Now, it's phenomenal. It is unbelievable. And there's no sign here. There's nothing here. It's, it's not an exhibit. It's just a cube, right? So there's no, there's no reason you should think that this is not a real person. Well, it's not breathing, and the eyes, you can tell, the eyes are a little bit not there. Now, the attention to detail in the body, though, the, the, the like liver spots or bruises on the arms, the uh, potential for rosacea of too much drinking going on on the cheeks, the, the care is unbelievable. It's meant to fool, right? Well, uh, I've been standing around here kind of watching uh, people come by and talking to them a little bit about it. And there was a guy who was here for a few minutes with his wife, and he he was looking at it, and then I, he saw me with the camera and everything, and I came over and I said, um, so, or he said to me, he goes, wow, he goes, so they really do some amazing training with controlled breathing and stuff to not move like that for so long. That's what he said. And I'm like, no, no, man, I'm like, that, that that's not a person. I'm like, no, no, it's not breathing. And it kind of amazed me that, um, I don't know how to look at the camera right, it amazed me that, um, that even after standing here for minutes and being presented with clearly something that isn't breathing, your brain's ability to just not understand kind of, uh, it still takes over and I think that a lot of that's going on when it comes to politics and stuff right now, but when told that that person's not breathing and his wife actually pointed out that on the fingertips, um, there weren't any um, cuticle formations or something on the, on the uh, fingernails near the, where his skin meets. So she pointed out something that even I didn't see. But other than that, if this thing isn't breathing, like I, it is so hard to say that that is not a person. It's amazing. So if you're out for a Lauderdale airport and it's still here, now you know. And kind of looking at how people respond on Facebook to whether or not this is a real person, I kind of want to see the discussion before I give the answer post this video.